and today is kind of not such a great morning. Um, there's something wrong with Betty. Remember yesterday when I told you that she was having some weird behavior and sniffing around and she got down off the porch and just peed right there and I thought it was because maybe she was trying to mark her territory or whatever. Well, today she got out of bed and she could hardly move and um, she came outside and she had trouble getting down the steps. She did make it off to the side to be able to pee, but as she was peeing, her little backside came down to the ground like she couldn't hold her, her hindquarters up. And I had to help her back up the steps. Now, um, about 10 minutes later, I was fixing some of my brown bread and cream cheese and I had it up on a plate and she came up to me with her tail wagging and everything and uh, jumped up on her hindquarters to try and get the, the bread for me. So, um, I mean, and that was very quick. She just moved real slow in the morning and um, then within a few minutes she was able to jump up on her hindquarters and she seemed fine and she was able to get back up on the bed herself. So I'm going to have to take her to a vet. I'm thinking that it's probably arthritis. Pipples are known for osteoarthritis and um, hip problems and whatnot and she's just at the age she's going to be eight this year and um, so I'm hoping that it's just arthritis I'm thinking I'm thinking that that's got to be what it is um, she's not whimpering or acting like she's in pain but pit bulls never do they can withstand an extraordinary amount of pain and it doesn't cause them any problems they, they show no pain but her tail's still wagging, so that's a good thing. Um, so I'm hoping she's going to be okay. I'm sure she'll be fine. I just need to get her in to see someone, and then I'll let you know. So um, anyhow, I did film some footage. I want to share it with you today. <laughs> it's going to be happier footage, so good. And, um, and then at the end of the day, I'll tack on uh, to the end of the video how she's doing and how she's feeling today and you know what my next steps are you know when I'm gonna be able to get her to the vet and whatnot so anyhow let's get this day going oh and I forgot to tell you one thing too um, my water catchment system one of the poles came off and it rained all night last night one of the poles came down um, I hadn't secured it properly and tipped everything over so I didn't get any water I mean I didn't lose any water but um, <sighs> I'm so mad. I was so hoping I'd come out today and see full rain barrels, but that's okay. I'm going to shore it up today. I, I picked it, the pole back up, and so if it's raining, it's going to probably rain some more today. I'll be able to get some more water. But, uh, yeah, that was disappointing. I walked out there, and I'm like, oh, man. I thought for sure I was going to have full rain barrels, but, well. Anyhow, now let's get this day started. Yesterday, I don't know what it was, but I was just in the mood to, I don't know, do a bunch of stuff. So here's what I did. This little area, remember, this is where the mammoth dill is growing. And yes, it is absolutely growing. That right there, that right there. I planted some more here. That's starting to come up there. Planted some more there. And there, that's all coming up. Well, I've kind of added to this, and one of my subscribers suggested that I just take some of my little sproutlings that I'm thinning out and put them by a tree, and she said to call it the Willy Wonka something or other garden. I can't remember, so I'm kind of like slowly clearing this little area out. I need to get some more weeds out and whatnot, and I already told you that I planted the Mr. Lucas some of his onions here, and they're really starting to come up, so that makes me very happy, and... I thinned out the zucchini plants, and I don't even know if they're going to grow here. Their leaves are a little bit pale, but oh well. Um, I just yanked them out of the ground, seriously, and I just put them down here, covered them with a little bit of that grass clipping straw mulchy type stuff, and I just planted three zucchini plants here. I don't know if they're all going to survive, but you know what? I got a, like a little wild, a little wild garden bed going on here. Ha <laughs> ha! Remember this little section here? It used to be you could just walk right through it. Well, I kind of fortified it up with a, a few more logs and made another raised bed. And I used absolutely zero soil from the store. All I got was, well, I put some cardboard down, of course, and put some sticks. And um, I didn't really use leaves, but I did use a lot of that kind of 
multi clipping stuff um, and just kind of layered that in and then I went to different areas around my property and gathered some soil that is naturally just looking good I got quite a bit of it from right here um, I've gone ahead and covered this part back up uh, with some of that the grass clippings and whatnot but once I got down beneath the mulch type stuff what was underneath actually looked pretty good. It was dark, it was not all clay. Um, so I went to various spots where the soil looked good, tried to pick out all the weeds and just dug it up, basically dug it up. And if it was compacted, I, you know, loosened it with my fingers and I put it over here in this garden bed and just layered it with more of that kind of mulch stuff. That's just what I'm gonna call it, mulch stuff. <laughs> And um, I got some coffee grounds and um, mixed that in there. I had a bunch of coffee grounds I'd been saving. And I also um, had a bunch of eggshells that I got to use my mortar, mortar and pestle for the first time. Got them up to a, as fine a powder as I could and mixed that in with it and just tossed it around and layered it in. So I'm going to plant something here, but I don't know what it is yet. I'm just going to have to think about it. Um, I've got so much growing and everything looks really good except for oh I got little bugs except for the watermelon I don't think the watermelon is gonna cut it this year so I don't know I'm not gonna pull it up yet I'm gonna keep giving it a try but everything else is looking okay we need some more sun so I'm really happy with the way things are going look at that one that one's starting to come up really good too. Even though the color of the leaves needs to be greener, we'll see. Oh my goodness, this is that red pepper plant that I planted. What is it? Just a red bell pepper? And it's already got, looks like it's getting ready to have some flowers there. Wow, that was fast. Very cool. Let's look at the potato. Oh my goodness. Look, one, two, three potatoes. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's another one. Four. Oh. oh, look you guys. Look, look, there's even a little potato leaf. I've got potatoes. Oh, that is so, oh. another one. Oh my gosh. You know what? That doesn't promise me that I'm going to get potatoes though. All that means is I've got potato plants. So we'll see. These are the ones that I got from the store. I cut up one big potato that was chitting and put in like five or six down there in the bottom and they're starting to come up. So yay. Everything else is pretty much status quo. Hopefully things will grow. I did move that other tomato bucket out here. So hopefully this area gets a lot of sun. Hopefully it'll grow better. And just when I started feeling discouraged, Look at that. Those little dill seeds that I planted that I brought from Ohio from when I was growing dill in Ohio are coming up. And I must have planted them there too. I couldn't remember because they're starting to come up there too. So you know what guys? Just never ever give up on plants. Or yourself. No matter what anybody says to try and discourage you. Found another mushroom. Ain't it pretty? It looks just like that other one I found and I looked it up and it is an emetic rusula and it is not poisonous but it will make you sick if you eat it so although it's gorgeous you definitely do not want to eat it well looks like my girlfriend is back to normal come here girlfriend come on you want a treat you want a treat come on she's got herself wrapped up dang it well, as the day went by and it stopped raining and the sun's out now, um, she seems to be back to her old self. So I'm just going to keep a close eye on her and, uh, yeah, got to make an appointment with a vet. I didn't do, even do that today. I couldn't keep my eyes off her. Um, also, I got some things in the mail from some subscribers, maybe, some of them. Um, and I'm going to share those with you in tomorrow's video. Yes, I went ahead and opened them. I had to. I, need to, I needed something to cheer me up. Um, so I know what they all are and I got some great things. So I'll show you that in tomorrow's video. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.